So guys, in this React tutorial, I'm going to show you how to destructure props. So we're going to pass props and destructure them in child component. So here I have my basic React app with a app component and a function called fun. Here I have another component and I'm calling this component from my app with a bunch of props. So I'm already passing a bunch of props to another component. So how do we destructure it from another component and start using them? So here I'm already passing the function using the do it prop. And in the props here argument, I have on click event that actually calls that function through the prop that was passed. And so if I actually click on this button, you will see the alert being displayed. Now, if I want to output the past props in another component, all I have to do is simply type props.prop1, which was the name of that prop. And so I can do the same thing with all of the props that were passed. Here we have the value of prop2, and here we have the string. Okay, but it gets a little cluttered and we probably want to destructure these props. So we don't have to use the props object over and over again. So to destructure the props, I'm gonna create a const with the brackets. And inside those brackets, I'm gonna type the names of all of the props separated by comma. And then I'm going to make this equal the props object. So it's actually not making it equal, we're destructuring it from the props object into those variables. Now, this means we no longer need to use the props object, and we can use those variables directly by name. And as you can see, the button is still working. If I click on it, we get the fun function message.